Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lakinil ladhina attaqaw rabbahum lahum jannatun tajri min tahtiha al-anhar khalidina fiha nuzulan min indillah. Wa ma indallahi khayrun lil-abrar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he talks about one of the main benefits of fasting. Anybody know what the one of the main benefits of fasting that's mentioned in the Quran? Yeah? Okay, so one, one benefit is that you feel how the poor people feel when they don't have food. So that's one, that's one benefit of fasting. What's another benefit of fasting? Can you get help? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states لَعَلَّكُمْ In the ayah that we said, talked about in the previous session لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can re, re, get taqwa. Okay. How raise your hand if you ever heard of the word taqwa before? Yeah, you heard of the word taqwa before? Okay. So, what is taqwa? That's the question. Okay. What is taqwa? You've heard of it, but do you know what it means? So that's the question. So one time, Umar radiallahu an, he asked another Sahabi, Ubay ibn Ka'b. He asked him, what is taqwa? He said, did you ever walk through a, a thorny path? Okay, you know what a thorn is? A thorn like, you know, a cactus has those thorns sticking out, those pointy things. So, you know, imagine there's a, there's like a, you, you know, there's like a little tunnel and in the tunnel, there's like a bunch of pointy things that are coming out of it. Okay, a bunch of thorns. So if you were walking through there, how would you walk? Would you just run? How would you walk? Would you jump? Would you run? Would you walk slowly? How would you walk? Jump? I don't know if you jump. You might get hit by the thorn then, right? Climb it. Climb? I don't know. Well, you got to go through it, right? You got to go through. So you can go on top, right? You can go on top. Okay. So he asked him, how would you walk through that path? Okay. So... Omar radiallahu anh said that, you know, I would hold my clothes very close to myself, very tightly, and I would walk very slow so that none of those thorns catch onto my clothes. If they catch onto my clothes, what would happen to my clothes? Pinch. It would pinch, okay, it would hurt. What else? Would, yeah, your clothes would get ripped, right? Kind of like when you dive in football and basketball, like every time your pants, you know, get a hold in. Okay, so that will happen. So he said, Obey ibn Ka'ab said, that's taqwa that you are always careful you're always careful of not letting the the, the the things of the dunya catch up to you and get into your and get into your daily practices okay so that's one of the that's one of the uh, that's one of the the, the the hikmas that's one of the wisdoms behind taqwa that you don't let any aspects of the dunya get into your heart and you're very careful of what you do every single day now that's what taqwa is. What, what's the benefit of doing taqwa? What, what, do you, what do you get that if you, if you, if you, you know, if you have this quality of taqwa, what are you going to get? <laughs> Allah says, Jannatun tajri min tahtiha al-anhaaru khalidina fiha. Yeah. You're going to get jannah. Okay, you're going to get jannah. And in jannah, there are rivers that are flowing underneath you okay there are rivers that are flowing right underneath you you can see rivers flowing okay what else are you going to get in jannah what else could you get in jannah yeah what you can do a lot of good deeds in jannah but what else yeah you can get whatever you want in jannah yes yeah goody yes you'll get a lot of goodies in jannah you can make dua yes and in what yeah, dua. Yeah, you can make, you can make, yeah, climb. Oh, coins. Yeah, you can get coins too. Okay. Yeah, that's, you can get that. So that's one of the best parts of Jannah, that you can get whatever you want. Right? In Jannah, you can get whatever you want. Okay, that's the cool thing about it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want too. So that's the... Like to do. Yeah, if you want to eat something like some chicken pakoras or some brown rice biryani, you can eat that too. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. You can eat some chicken too. Yeah. Or 
or gosh. Or jawal or gosh, yeah. You can or have, biryani. Yeah, biryani. You have so many options, mashallah. Oh so that's why we always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives or us Jannah. Okay? Oh. We always make dua that, oh Allah, grant us Jannah. What do we say? Ameen. Ameen, right? Oh Allah, then let's make dua. Oh Allah, grant us Jannah. Uh, Amen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amin Asifun. Assalamu ala al-Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.